Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to take a look at Spectre Meltdown and the very latest Zombie Load potential attacks on those users with Intel CPUs in their system and more importantly fairly recent, certainly within the, released within the last six or seven years Intel CPUs which are multi-core multi-threaded devices. Um, I won't go into all the details but there are uh, certain uh, attacks that are possible on your system um, and various methods by which you can protect yourself from those. Um, most distributions out there, certainly the larger distributions, have put in place mitigations against that and the likes of OpenSUSE, uh, Canonical, uh, Microsoft or Windows, Apple etc. have all put in place um, within their operating systems uh, ways to prevent those potential attacks from taking place. Uh, the problem with that is that that also carries a hit on system performance because you are disabling some of the processing power within your Intel CPU. So let me just bring up an article here on uh, OpenSUSE.com. So you can see here, Centralized CP Issue Mitigation Control. Uh, now OpenSUSE um, mitigate against potential attacks and some of these protections, in fact all of these protections as at the time of recording this video, are built into the current Linux kernel. Now one question you might want to ask yourself is how many people are actually impacted by this? Not potentially impacted but actually impacted and I would put out there that it's an infinitesimally small number of people. Now just because an attack is possible does not mean that you should potentially cripple your system performance by anything between 25 and, as some tests have shown, 40% hit on performance just to protect yourself from an attack which is probably what one in several million chance of actually occurring. So what to do? Well if you're lucky enough to be using uh, OpenSUSE or the commercial version, SUSE itself, um, you have some options. Now there are some command line options here to disable some or all of the mitigations that are put in place. And this article will run through some of those, uh, some of the detail on those. So basically you can choose between, if we look here, mitigations off, and that will um, do the following. All CPU side channel mitigations are disabled. This setting gives the highest performance but least security and should only be used in settings where no untrusted code is used. You've then got auto, which basically lets your system auto detect whether or not it thinks it's safe to disable. And there's another option down here, um, which as we can see here, additionally the symmetric multi-threading of the CPU is disabled if necessary. So that's one further step up over and above auto. Now, uh, I would suggest that um, if, like me, you're not particularly bothered by this, you go and you turn your mitigations off and then sit back and enjoy better system performance. Now, it's entirely up to you. That's my suggestion if you want better performance from your, from your PC. If you are at all worried about security in this area, then, of course, completely ignore what I'm about to show you. But anyway... Let's close this. Now let's go into Yast. And all seeing a dancing OpenSUSE control center. Now here we are. This is Yast. Now what you want to do is you want to come down to, you can find it, bootloader. So you click on bootloader. Brings up the options for when you first boot into your operating system. Now what you want to do is go into kernel parameters and you can see here you've got this drop down menu cpu mitigations and just like in the article we have off auto and manual in there so i would suggest you set it to off that will disable cpu mitigations and it will give your system a little bit of a boost in the cpu department don't forget to save which rewrites that to the bootloader config file and then reboot the system and sit back 
and enjoy better performance. So I hope you found that useful. As I say, I'm not telling you what to do. It's entirely up to you. You do this at your own risk, but um, ask yourself what actually is the risk. Do you think you are open to such risk? Very, very, very few people are going to be affected, in my opinion. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.